Righto, this is day nine for us, and we've packed up from beautiful Chile Beach. Fantastic having two days in the same spot so we didn't have to pack up camp, that was nice. Um, back down this road, uh, Portland Road, about halfway back down, there's your yeah, turn off to the right, which is really only just slightly marked on a tree, Frenchman's track, and we turn into there. Now after we turned off on this little track and started heading through all this beautiful country with real like say eight foot high shrubbery all around you, um, we had a camera malfunction and I didn't get any of that. But anyway, uh, not long into that, we dropped straight down into the first major river crossing, the Pasco River. And uh, here's how that went. Are you getting in or are you walking across? Well, if you walk across, you'll be saturated up to your belly button. How do I get my feet? You get in the bloody guys, you're in the stadium. Don't hassle, Jones. Well, we're going hugging the rock. Is someone It's okay, baby. It's all good. So worries, mate. <laughs> well done. Well done. That's probably one of the worst ones for the whole trip. You alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, we're back on recording, baby. Warning, warning. Recording. Shh. Have something naughty. Somewhere up here there's a real sandy patch. Last time I'd come through here, it was in 2007, with a few mates on motorbikes. Good fun track, pretty hard work in the sand though when it got a bit softer. big long sandy patch that we all got stuck on. Oh, we stopped and watched the others all get stuck. I remember that were tricky were long sections like this but just boggy deep sand. Okay, the sand's gone. Ooh. A GT stripe. Oh. Pretty breezy which is good. Nice. 
too hot probably outside, although with the aircon on, so you wouldn't know. Oh, no, it's right. What's going on here, Adam? Oh, yeah. What was that, mate? There's cameras at the left. Alex's camera is sitting on the ground on the left as you come in. Don't run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, camera. Right, out. Got it. Camera on the left, everybody. Copy that. Camera on the left. Yeah, copy that. Copy that old mate right at the back. behind me you might actually want four wheel drive for that. Whoops. Copy that four wheel drive. Yeah copy that. Where's that water? Do you hear water? Yes. Put it in the chassis. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll pick you up on mine. Oh yeah, alright. Yeah it got deep in there a bit didn't it? red dirt tracks, huge termite mounds, pretty lumpy like there was just rock sections, big flat rocks in the gravel road which made it quite uncomfortable but you know, didn't really matter. <laughs> so far we've got one quad bike and two cars. Keep your adventures. Copy that, one quad bike, two cars. <coughs> Up a little darlings on the quad bike. Where they went. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, this way is it? Oh, yeah. Did you tell the next one? Or you think it's obvious? Oh, I thought we could see wheel tracks. That's what I was looking at anyway. Water fight all good back here? Yeah, it's all good, and you just turn right. There's a little right hand turn out of it. Yeah, copy that. on this track. Isn't that part of the fun? It is, yeah. Just check it. <laughs> oh. I was laughing. Can we turn the video off now? <laughs>
Go on, Mr. Sandy. Beautiful little creek. So before we got to it, it was just crystal clear or blue. Just goes down there. So it's pretty easy crossing once, and it's been dug out now all the way back to there. With cars trying to get in and out. Beautiful, bit of fun. Oh, nearly. I don't know if the video shows it probably, but those tyres got so much blue. Look very cool. Yeah, how did the boys go? James and Brendan and that. All through there? Yeah. Yeah, no real dramas there. Brendan went through the same way as we went, as did James. But um, uh, because Alex has the wider front end, he decided to go the, like my wheels were hitting both sides. Yeah. So he's just gone the other way. He just went the other way to save that where that cutting was. Oh, because would he not have fit through? No, he's got the same front end as this car. Oh. He's got a tight front end in his other arm. Yeah, remember this bit on the bike. Right at the end it clears a bit. It's just like a big sand pit, I think. And bikes were going everywhere. It was pretty funny. Hmm. Cool track. Scenery's changed again. Pedro, oh, heaps. The Wenlock. Pretty cool. Room for us all to have a nice bit of smoking.
these little crossing. Wow. Carly up, is she? <laughs> one of the other uh, exits, probably one of the original exits out of the Wenlock on the Frenchman's. It's a little bit dug out and ugly actually. Mirror's in, lights off. Fire Watch the mirror! Finish. Mirror! You have to go forward! Go forward, Jim. Can you go? Fold it in so something folded in there. Watch it all! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get his front locker on there So um, we've got we've got we've got two spare camping spots. Two blokes didn't turn up. Yeah. We've got spare spots at uh, Elliot Creek, Elliot Falls. What do you call it? Yeah. Elliot Falls and somewhere else. What? <laughs> I'm off ya. Stay here once staying at the corner, yeah. So Brennan stays for the next car, gets there. He, that next car stays for the next one.
Look at those suckers. They're pretty good, aren't they? Ugh. Must have just burnt all this area out there. There's all the new growth on the ferns. Mm. Yeah, and I suppose it looks even more funny, different, because there's no other little undergrowth. It's all just the trees. Yeah. You know, there's no other, um, apart from a bit of grass. Look at all on that side. up in the tree. That was someone tied up there years ago fishing. We were here in a boat March 2003. Wow. Oh. Hey Brenda when you come into town have a look up in the when you come to the Wainlock crossing have a look up in the tree the sign up there. Brendo. Copy. Yeah, when you come across that uh the Wenlock mate on the cause, why have a look up in the tree at the sign up there? Right. Have you got contact with anyone behind you? Right, mate, I'm going straight past Morton Station. We stopped there on the way back, so I'm going to keep on going to Bramwell. Yeah, Alright, you come up and you see, as soon as you see the bridge, have a look up in the tree and read the sign. Branwell Tourist Park. A bit flasher than last time I was here. Big girls travelling well. Road's a bit shitty but not too bad considering. Yeehaw. Six Ks from the PDR. Bramwell Station. I stayed last time. This is where we stayed. There. We stayed underneath those trees. There's all dongers there now. Yep. This is exactly where we stayed underneath these trees. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. So after kicking back at the bar and signing in and having a couple of beers, we soon worked out that we were missing two blokes off the back of our convoy. So we quickly worked out that uh, there'd been a slight hiccup in our convoy procedure and the turn off uh, from the Frenchman's onto the PDR uh, to the one of the blokes had actually got two punches in one session. So uh, that was our first tire damage for the trip um, so I just hightailed it back down to meet them and uh, then found them there changing tyres and all was good 